Hello and welcome to my channel. So I've been asked to show how to install custom firmware on the uh, PowerKiddy V90. So, first of all you'll need to download the custom firmware which I'll put a link in the description for you and unpack it to a location on your hard drive. You will need a, a a micro SD card, probably 16 gig or above is probably best, but I've got a 32 gig one here, which I will in, uh, insert into my uh, card reader, then insert into my computer. Yeah, and then uh, you can close the Explorer window that pops up, but take a note of what drive letter it is. So in my case, it's, uh, it's this one, which is drive I. Then you need to start need to install ins, download and install window win32 disk imager which i'll also put a link in the description for and run that so make sure you select the correct drive letter for the sd card because you don't want to format your internal hard drive or any externals you've got so you select it that in the right hand side where it says device then select the little uh, folder symbol which is this one and it's the power kd V91 there, so that's that file. Then select um, select it, then select uh, open, and it should appear in there. And then double check you've got the right drive and the right firmware. Then just click right, and then wait a while. It'll say yes. Do you want to do this? You say yes, and you just wait. Now, once it says right complete, it's done, then all these windows will probably appear. Whatever you do, do not click format disk, just click cancel on each one of those. If you do if you do if you do click format disk, you'll have to redo the image because it will be corrupted. So close all these windows. Cancel that. This is right successful, that means it's done it. So we can click OK and exit. The next thing we need to launch is the um, is the Minto partition to, uh, wizard, which I will put the uh, link for that in the description as well. This is to resize the file the the ROMs partition. So you start this one up. It'll take a while. I'll just move this back a bit so you can see the whole uh, screen. Move that up a bit. Sorry. So this is all the disks on my computer and obviously that's the system disk, that's an external, that's just the GPT. So it's it's this last one here where it's set, which is a FAT32 one. You'll know which one, you know if it's the right drive because you'll know it's the size of your, so that's a 32 gig stick so you know it's only 29 gigs so you know that's not that. It's important to make sure you get the right one. So then once you've got that you right click it and you do... Uh, Extend partitions. Do as it sets. Is it up the top? Where's it gone? Expand. Yep. And then you drag that uh, all the way across, so that you're using all the space. Then click OK. And then in the corner there, you'll see there's an apply button. You need to click that. Click yes. And wait while it uh, sorts it out. There we are, that's done. Now we click OK and we uh, close the software. Yep, quit the program. Next thing we need to do is to eject the, uh, the 
the card from the computer, which will be this one. It'll have uh, four drives, four drives showing in there because there'll be all the system disks and everything else for the operating system. So we check that. Now it's done it. So now we remove the um, USB from the machine and then we remove it from the card reader and fit this into your uh, power kit. So it goes in uh, into your slot there. And if all well, if all goes well, when you turn it on, it should come up like this. So it should say, my your custom firmware, come up with power kid there, make a bleep. Loading, then that's that. Now, now we can see that's working. Now we can, if you press the uh, the right button there, you can flick through the menus to, to settings, go across to power off, press A, press A. And as soon as the screen goes black, you can turn it off. And then we can uh, eject the card, put it back in your computer and start and put, the, uh, and put your ROMs in onto the card. So we'll put that back in the card reader, put it back in the computer, Look at all the ones that pop up and say format this just click cancel on. Now you should see this folder here now has a ROMs folder. If you go into the ROMs folder you can see all the folders to drop your ROMs into. So you can put so, uh, Atari 2600 and things like that. So drop all your ROMs in, eject the device, and then put and then uh, once you, and then put it back into your power kit and you're ready to go. Cancel that one. And then uh, obviously, once you've finished copying all your ROMs, always remember to safely eject it so you don't corrupt the device. And then uh, spit it out and put it back in your power kit and you and away you go. Well, I hope that was helpful. Probably not the best video on this in the world, unfortunately, but it's uh, it's well worth doing. It's this is I think this firmware is much better than the um, standard firmware that comes with the device. And I. Uh, and if you like this, uh, these sort of guides and these sort of videos, please like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one.